is trying. Terrible transition defense there. I think it would have been pointless, Steve. There was no way anybody was beating him to the basket there. Stolen by Michael Conley. That's good from Gasol on the assist by Allen. Allen's got his fourth assist in this one. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And they're getting out in transition, too, finding some easy points on the fast break. Gasol with the steal. It's deflected. Parker with the steal. You know, down there in the low post is where you really want to create a lot of your offense. Outside Conley. Pass to Gasol. Back to Conley. Those three pointers off the mark. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. It's Mayo on the wing. He's covered by Randolph. Puts up a three. Shot by Mayo is no good. Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Allen gets to Conley. And a wide open look for Lee. Good on the triple. Lee's got seven now in this quarter. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Parker kicks tonight. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Conley the best to Allen. Lee outside. Six to shoot. First it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First. When you get a team that can play defense like the Grizz and put them in front of a friendly crowd, they can be really good. Uh, they really do tend to feed off of each other, the team and this crowd. It's a big part of why the Grizzlies have been so tough at home for so long. Oh, no good on that one. And for the Grizzlies last year, very tough at home because of that defense. 27 wins here. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Kufis checked in for Gasol. Luer comes in for Zach Randolph. Tayshawn Prince is checked in for Tony Allen. And it's Udrick in for Mike Conley. No one near Mayo as he lets it go. Mayo missing again. And the Grizzlies might not be the best team in the West, but they are the team that nobody wants to play because of how good their defense is and how well they play in this building. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Lures got his fourth rebound in this one. No good from Lee. Boy, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Here's Knight. Gets to the corner and buries it. Knight's got eight here in the quarter. His shooting has been so good today. And he may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Here's Hudrick. He's guarded by Knight. Now Udrick steps back and fires. And the shot is good. Every once in a while, he'll kind of step out of his role and give you something like that. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Yes, Kevin, Memphis coach Dave Yeager paid dues for years coaching in the minor leagues. But he did more than coach. He was the GM, ticket vendor, business manager, and a halftime act. He said he loved the passion and spirit of that work. But there were also tough times. Guys, those struggles helped prepare him for where he is today. 
A long road, but he's here now. Thanks, Doris. Passes it to Prince. He dishes it to Carter. The tray. And again, it's Memphis with the three. A little confusion defensively. Just... Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. Here is Bayless. Sixteen seconds left to play here in the half. Here's the screen. Over in the corner, Marshall. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Five seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Carter inside the three-point line. No good on that last second attempt there. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Grizzlies lead by nine. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for Knight. He has 15 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. Knight and Mayo, man the backboard. Sanders is up there with Parker, and it's Andy Dekumbo in the small forward position. Conley kicks to Allen. Memphis moving that ball around. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by Allen. Nine points for Mike Conley. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak. Knight kicks to Mayo. Six on the shot clock. Sanders with a screen on Conley. Knight dishes to Sanders. Sinks the 15-footer. Sanders has got seven. And the Grizzlies leading by 10. After a 2012-13 season in which Larry Sanders received the third most votes for most improved in the league, not to mention a four-year, $44 million extension from the Bucks. Steve, a lot, a lot was expected last season. Yeah, and unfortunately, a lot was not delivered. Injuries and uh, various off-the-court issues kind of uh, made it a season to forget for Sanders. So this year will be one of redemption. He needs to find that form from a couple of years ago. Parker kicks tonight. Here is on to Takumbo. Over by Conley. On to Takumbo can't get it to go. Lee outside. Allen kicks to Gasol. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Sanders, you know, tearing a ligament in his thumb during that off-the-court scuffle early in the season. It cost him six weeks. And he just put together his best game of the season when a stray elbow fractured his right orbital bone and put him out of commission. Once again, tough break. Some of it self-inflicted, some of it bad luck. And the first one drops. And for Sanders, the injury's unfortunate. I think some of the off-the-court decision-making issues were even more of a concern for the Bucs. They've made him a big part of their future, and we're hoping they can rely on him moving forward. No good on the second free throw. We watched Gasol play great basketball. He's got 11 points and two steals. He is in complete control of this game. Yeah, it's just going his way. Everything falling into place. Lee with the steal. There's the lob to the hoop. The alley -oop win. Very well done. And the Grizzlies lead by 13. 
soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley oop. You know, I got to say, Clark, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going to go. <laughs> we saw it ended up right where it was supposed to, in the back. It sure did. I don't think anybody knew where it was going to go. This all set in the pick for Lee. Off the screen. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. A hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. Yeah, there was a lot to like on that play. And again, the Bucks miss. One for five on offense. A slow start here in the second half. Conley with it. And it's Knight picking him up. Lee kicks to Randall. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. You think about the Grizzlies, and the one thing that jumps out at you is their physicality. I mean, that's a team that loves contact and has no problem being physical. Two shots. For the Grizzlies, given how much Memphis loves their football, the physicality of the Grizz fits right in. Yeah, the fans really appreciate it, and... It's effective against every team in the league, particularly because the NBA has gotten much smaller and faster. So the Grizzlies are playing sort of a different style, and it's been very effective for them. The Bucks making a change here. Pachulia's checked in. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Parker passes tonight. He kicks to Antetokounmpo. Back tonight, looking to end the run. The offensive rebound, and it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. Outside Mayo, back tonight. There's the screen to the inside stolen by Randolph here's Allen oh tried to dunk it home but drew the foul and it'll go to the line and guys what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Memphis and they continue to run and gun throughout the game guys something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively and they've been turning those turnovers into points so after making the first, he goes one for two. Milwaukee had a tough time last year with pretty much everyone, yeah. Clark, and they really struggled against the West, as you might expect. Yeah, well, they struggled against everybody because, again, this is a team in serious rebuild mode, young, and not overly talented. That's a recipe for not being able to win many games, East or West. Conley gets the bucket. Coming out strong here in the third quarter. That's four for five shooting for this team. Knight kicks to Parker. Shot to end this cold run. Here's Honda Takumbo. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's his first trip to the line. Well, they don't expect a lot from him at the foul line. He was in that range below 70% last season. And, guys, that was an element of his game that he could not get turned around. I mean, he was really in a funk, and it lasted all season. Jared Dudley's checked in for Milwaukee. Conley kicks to Lee. Allen dishes to Randolph. And the Grizzlies check on two more. Oh, man, they are just putting a hammer down right now. <laughs> Defensively and offensively, it has all been working for them today. Knight passes to Pachula. And the rejection by Randolph. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Mayo again. Slee. Shot by Mayo is no good. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the board. 
That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor.